Well, that hardly even rang. You're just too excited, I guess, to get started tonight. Hello. I am ready, ready and raring to go. Ready and raring to go. That's always a good thing to hear. Welcome to you. Welcome to everybody that's uh, watching this after the fact. We have reached scenario 417, the Battle of Edessa tonight. We're going to see a few old things. We're going to see some new things. This Actually, this is kind of a milestone for us because we have gotten to a point where two very distinct civilizations, the Romans on one hand, the Persians, the up-and-coming Persians, are now finally coming to blows at the frontiers. So we're going to see something we've never seen before tonight. We're going to actually see Romans versus Persians. We kind of have seen variations on this with Romans versus Parthians and Parthians versus Persians, but this is the first time in all of our scenarios to date that we actually have Roman legions going after the Persian Empire. And this is the story of Shapur I, the king of the Sassanids. And I think a couple of weeks ago when we had that Persians versus Parthians, you were telling us this, it was sort of the, the sunset of the Parthian Empire and the beginnings of the rise of what would be a six or seven hundred year empire with the Sassanids before the rise of Islam in the area in Persia. So to start our story tonight, I guess it's probably appropriate to also talk about the Roman leadership. We mentioned Shapur on the Persian side for the Sassanids, but we have on the Roman side Emperor Valerian. Because we're in that current time of crisis where there's a different emperor every day of the week, I'm just going to mention some brief notes about him. He had been in power for the about the last six or seven years, he had succeeded his predecessor, Emilian, who, just like almost every emperor in this time, has dealt with internal strife and rebellions and challenges to their own authority. Valerian's help was sought. He was an underling to Emilian. When his help was sought out, he then used that as his own opportune moment to seize power. Like other predecessors, what's the first thing that he did? He placed his son as Caesar. That means he would be the future emperor. And like his predecessors, of course, he's dealing with many of the foreign invaders that are building along the Roman frontiers. Last week we saw with Pannonia and the Danube, Goths kind of invading from there. Well, that will continue here with Valerian's reign. In addition to that, he is also one of the first Romans that we see, uh, or is mentioned here, where continued persecution of the Christians. So from a domestic standpoint, he's dealing with all of that. And now he's going to have to deal with the frontier of the eastern part of the empire. We've seen all of the problems they have with controlling Syria and Judea, and now we're going to have Shapur building an army and starting to test the boundaries of that eastern frontier. In response to that, Valerian will build the army and take the leadership of that as a consul himself. He will take his forces into the field to face off against Shapur. The battle tonight, Edessa is actually in, it's called Mesopotamia, but it's really, I'm showing a map here, it's in the southern part of modern-day Turkey, what uh, during the time was called, it's that crush zone between old Parthian Empire on the east, uh, southern Cappadocia, and the northern part of Syria, which were all Roman provinces at the time, and this is what will be contested with this battle. Now it should be noted that this particular campaign also falls under the larger umbrella of what historians call the Roman-Persian Wars. And we often ascribe that to anything that happens in this area, but it's also almost a 700-year conflict between the various forms of the Roman Republic and the Roman Empire all the way up to this point in the late 200s. And it will continue on all the way up to the fall of the Roman Empire. So about 625, 630, we will continue to see this, uh, this, these stressors here on this eastern part of the empire. Shapur himself, Shapur the first, the second ruler of the Sasanian king of kings, which is this area in Persia or modern day Iran. We're not quite sure of his full reign. It's about 30 years from 240 to 270, but he will be the military leader of this mostly cavalry based force that he is going to use to press into the Roman claims in the area. 
once he started on this path, it was eventually going to lead to some kind of conflict directly. And we've got both of the leaders of their respective areas coming to the battlefield tonight. When the two armies did finally meet here near Edessa, we're not quite sure of how big, it's not noted historically how big, Shapur's forces are. But we do know the Romans brought about 70,000. We do know, and we can see here on the battlefield, that both of these two armies played to their strengths. The Romans had more foot-based legions. We have medium and heavy legions here, whereas the Persians are still mostly cavalry-based. And the one thing that we see here that we have not seen in a long time is the presence of war elephants, pachyderms, which the Persians are going to use as their center of their battle line. The actual notes of this battle, historically, as we've said time and time again, are few and far between, but we do know some of the high points of this. We know that Valerian organizes standard battle line here, put the cavalry on the wings. The one variable in all of this is the fact that the Romans had not dealt with elephants for so long that they had forgotten the combat tactics that they had used early and effectively when dealing with war elephants. So that's going to be a significant factor because they've gone soft, really. We also see that the presence of the Praetorians here, they never seem to be away from the action. They are here to protect Valerian. So historically, what did happen here is the Persians used their cavalry very effectively. They went for the, the wings while the war elephants went right into the center causing chaos against the Roman legions in the center and their lack of understanding of the tactics that were used previously this will set the Romans to flight. Will be noted here that Valerian is captured. They will be surrounded and Valerian himself will be captured along with many of the other generals and there's some variable information about what happened to Valerian. Some say that uh, the the high-ranking brass were sent back to Iran and they were given comfortable lives for the rest of their days. And there are some indications that Shapur used Valerian as a token to prove his skill in combat. There's one even such notation where whenever he would get on his horse he would use Valerian as a stepping platform. He would have him get down on all fours, step on his back, and then get onto his horse. Uh, so laying the Roman emperor low, and thus as a prisoner of war will end the rule of Emperor Valerian, and the next emperor to be proclaimed will be his son Gallienus. And that is our story tonight. Why don't you tell us, we, we have some old friends tonight that we have not seen in a long time, and we actually have a neat rule that will reflect that for this scenario so tell us more so the imperial legions rules is in effect for the romans which are represented by the purple blocks tonight they'll have four command cards and they're led by emperor valerian king shapur has six command cards he'll get to move first with the persians which do have a pair of pachyderms the romans have the elite praetorian guard on their side they're a special unit We've played with Praetorians before. Essentially, it's as if they had a leader block with them. So they'll roll hits on leader hits, and they'll get to ignore one flag. But they don't have a leader influence bubble. And that brings us to our special rule of the night, Fright at First Sight. Any Roman unit in close combat of an elephant unit may not ignore any flags rolled by the elephant unit even if the unit has an attached leader or is supported by two adjacent friendly units or is the Praetorian Guard. This represents the fact that the Romans have forgotten how to fight elephants. It's been so long since uh, Hannibal and the Alps that they've just forgotten what elephants can do. Again, showing the deterioration of, of Roman discipline and the legion indeed yes they're they're actually like l scary stories i think told to children at this point in the empire because they're just a novelty you know it's a historical fact that yes they dealt with them but 
they've not seen them in battle and since oh gosh you're right probably at least the the turn of the from republic to empire so uh this this is neat i really like that rule because now it makes them possible that you can actually get in there and do something with them before they just rampage and kill half your own men so i'm excited to see that um well cool then i will Let's see, I'm going first, so I'm going to draw my six command cards. What is this? Two, three, four, five, and six. I have them. I'll only be drawing four command cards for the Romans. I heard that these elite Praetorian guards never lost a battle, and like ten-foot-tall warriors... They're going to save Rome on their own. All right. Here we go. Good luck to you, sir. Good luck to you. That being said, as I scan my cards, uh, Drek and Bother, I believe I will simply order my light troops to start. Order six of them, and lo and behold... I have six. Uh, so we'll go. Got some light bow cavalry there. Let's see what we can do on this side over here. And then we got our bowmen in the center. So let's start with start on the left here. They will fire a volley at your light bow. Or do I go for Valerian and the Praetorians? You know what? I'm feeling kind of spicy. So I'm actually going to target them. That's, or, mm. or as you say, froggy. Uh, so here's two dice at light bow to your heavy cavalry, or heavy infantry. And that's uh, wasted. Well, you wouldn't have done anything to the light bow either. That is true. So no harm, no foul. So we'll continue this attempt. Same. Hey, there we go. We score Look a hit. That. Valerian. Here's a here's two dice check on Valerian, and he's steel like. All right, light bow on this side. We'll do one to your light cavalry there. One die. Nothing. One to this auxilia here on the end. Nothing. Someone's farmer for flags. Well, <laughs> that one seemed like it was possible, but it was to no avail. Here's one on this light cav. Nothing. And finally, one more. Still nothing. Okay. The light troops show force is ineffective. All right. Well, it's going to get out of our system now. It's, it's all you could do not to jump up and down, screaming, I have a mounted charge. Now that I can only activate four units, so. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three, four. One, three. You tricked me into going that way, but you'll do no better. All right. Light Cav attacking Light Bow Cav. This will be three dice with a mounted charge. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Ooh. All right, there's two back. There's a hit and a flag. One, two, three, four. All right. Four dice. Now. The medium Cav. Now we can evade. So we shall. Ooh, great evade. All right. <laughs> he learned his lesson this time. He'll not make the same mistake again. <laughs> let's let's uh let's switch it up and attack with the medium calf first with four dice. Sure. Yeah, there you go. And. 
Let's get dangerous. Would you like to advance and battle again with them? I guess I could advance, move one, and they'll go after your medium cat. Okay. Since they get this bonus dice for the entire turn. So here we go with four dice. Double clutch. Oop, I rolled twice. Just rolled. So leader, light, heavy, light. Okay. So nothing. All right. And uh, three back plus leader. Ooh. Now the light cavalry will attack. Okay. With three dice. And a flag that you're supported with. Okay. Right. Do three dice plus leader. Two hits and a retreat. Ooh. Charmed am I. Okay. We'll do a inspired right leadership. And go. start with this. It's going to be four dice plus leader. Uh, he'll stay there. Down here. He's medium. Look after your auxilia with three dice. Just getting a hit. Three dice back. Two hits. Okay, got a light bow here. Shooting yours. They moved, so they'll just get one die. Sending him away. Good job, General Flat. <laughs> I got promoted. All right, warriors against your light bow. Nowhere for them to run, so four dice. And just a hit. Two dice back. Ooh, a hit. A hit. And, uh, and a retreat if you want it. So we'll stay there. Uh, that is everything. <laughs> oh, I was afraid. Double time. I was afraid of that. So it's going to be this block here. One, two, so, one, two, one, one, two. When I got that medium cab with four dice. A lot, of, a lot of flanks today. One out of those warriors with these heavies. And go after those light bow. What would they like to do? Uh, they will evade. Okay. Five dice. Two hits. Do not escape unscathed. All right. Even things up a bit. Indeed. Need to order our heavy troops then. Oh my my. Yes. Commence a puckering. There. There. Alright. So we'll start with I guess we'll go with the elephant here first. So this will be five dice. And you cannot ignore any flags. And we get so two hits. Get so you've got a sword, so you can roll another die. So here's another die, and it's another die. So they're yeah, that's three hits. That's three hits. Here's the leader check. 
squish. So let's go there and battle again. So here's five dice again. Uh, one hit. So, yeah, because because they can't s receive support, so that means they don't get to count leader dice. That's correct. That's right. Okay. Uh, so one hit so far and one retreat. So far. So let's do a second hit. There's a second hit and your retreat. All right. And we'll go here with four dice plus leader. Oh boy, that would have been nice. All right, and four dice back. Hit. Okay. Check. He's fine. And against the light bow. They will evade. <laughs> Two dice. Green circles only. Nothing. All right. Um, one. Ooh. Well, a little gassed here, so that's about all I can do. See if we can't make some hay out of it. Okay. Now, Auxilia's going after your heavy calf. We will stand. Three dice. One hit. Leader check. There's four back with leader. Uh, two hits. Medium's gonna follow up. Same target. They will evade that. Four dice here. And unholes. Cut down. Your check. He escapes. Heavy cav against your light bow cav. Um, they will evade. I do have a okay. correction at the end of this one, but uh, we will I will address that momentarily. That's a nice hit. I'm gonna go there. Did we get wrong? I just uh, I activated Shapur and I forgot to move him forward, so he's there. Yeah. All right. At least I'm trying to make it competitive. Oh boy, you are, man. This is uh, the pacing on this one is so incredibly fast. Um, let's do three on the left. Alright. Well, we need the one block. Well, we need the one block, so let's see how many attempts it takes to get it. So here's three dice plus leader. That's almost. <laughs> Shapur goes after those light bow. Four dice with leader. Cuts them down. Wow, that was well done. <laughs> was maybe fifteen minutes, maybe. Wow, and the elephants were effective. They did not come into it as early as I thought I might have, but I didn't get that heavy troop card until the second draw, maybe. Um, but this one is extremely brisk. What say you? Yeah, I mean, you've got those two cannons. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, and against against other heavies, you're rolling those five dice. So that's that's pretty brutal. Yeah, and we squished you poor Valerian underfoot. But, well, we will take a quick break. We'll be right back, swapping sides, of course, and see what I can do with the Romans. All right, we are back. 
And are you ready? You ready to have some fun with some pachyderms? That's, well, I, I, I do love a mounted charges, so <laughs> let's see if uh, oh, the, cards, the cards are with me. Yes. So I'm going to draw my six. Go ahead. And this is 7822 uh, in favor of the Persians, according to commandsandcolors.net. So do not see, be surprised if, uh, if I can't do something with four cards here. What a shame. What a shame indeed. Good luck. Good luck to you as well. So let's see here how the Persians react um and will react by ordering some medium troops into battle i have six of them All right, let's see what kind of mischief we can get into here. Start with the warriors with four dice on those light bow. Oof. Mischief managed. Two dice back. Nothing. Mm, medium cab will go after those guys, too. Three dice. Oof. Okay, two dice back. One hit. And after that, Auxilia. Wow, eat some green circles. That's there we go. Out. They will take a hit. And give you back three dice with impunity. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. General flag reporting as ordered. Goodness. All right. So my right flank failed. Let's see if my left flank can do any better. War is going after these light bow with four dice. Well, that's marginally better. Okay, here's two back. Nothing. Medium calf. There, there we go. There you go. That's what you like to see. <laughs> Now, going after that auxilia, three dice. Much better. That's, that's showing them how it's done. We'll give you three back. Oh, no! And try to finish them off. That'll do. Much better left flank. Much better. Well, Shapur is giving them the stink eye over there. That's right. Would you like to continue your rampage with that unit? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. Let's do a move, fire move. Throw a spear at that medium cavalry. Sending him away. Or. Send one at this pachyderm up here. One die. Nothing. And then they will retire. Through friendlies. And they'll stay there. Hmm. Three in the center. All right. Let's see how Valerian handles himself under withering hail of fire. Quite well, it seems. He's got a little umbrella. Do three units on the left. Go one, two. We will do 
do a spear from that light cavalry that moved. One die. Hurrah! And followed up with cold steel from this medium. Three dice. He's fine. Retaliating with two. He's fine as well. Outflanked. Right. White bow cav will pepper that medium cavalry unit. Nothing. Okay. Over here, light bow cab will engage your light cab. We shall stand. Two dice with leader support. One hit. You know what would be really great here? A couple of flags. There's two dice back. Oh, wrong symbol. And the heavy cab going after the medium. Uh, they will evade that. Okay, four dice. Look for some triangles. Not get any. Okay. Do three on the left. What are these shenanigans? Uh, horsemanship. Right, we'll do three dice on these light bow. Killing them utterly. And then we'll move forward and attack again. With three dice. Oh, nothing. Four dice back. There you go. Two hits. And then this one will engage them. Also four dice. With one hit. Here's a leader check. He's fine. Oof. So hit, hit. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Seems to be tricksy here, I think. So I'm ordering these two blocks. I'm sure Peter is going to go there, and the heavy is going to go there. Very tricksy. Four on the left. Mediums here on your warriors with four dice. Sending them away to and that is everything. Where are my medium troops?
See if I can't pick them off with three dice. You do. Advance. Not plus one, but we'll battle again. Three dice on the auxilia. Warriors against the mediums. There we go. Ooh. That's what I need for the other attack. One hit. Here's four dice back. Also striking once. All right. Shapur against the Praetorians. Mm. Four dice. Hits. Oh, what a gun out of the mediums. <laughs> Here is five dice with leader bonus. That's a white mm. one. Shapur. It falls. Reckless. Oh, you're kidding me. <sighs> this is the worst hand. Uh, so funny. I have three line command cards. Oh, jeez. I will do two in the center. Valerian will throw at that pachyderm. Here's one die. Nothing. And then we will attack these pachyderms with four dice plus leader bonus. Getting a hit. Which they can ignore, because they ignore Which they can the ignore. sword. Coming back at you with four dice. Reckless. One, two, three. That'll do it. And all right. That is all. Since all I have is line commands in this. So three in the center. One. To who? <laughs> all right, Mr. Owl. Just move those damn elephants. <laughs> All right, going after Valerian. Five dice. Quake in fear. Nothing. Nothing. Wow. Wow. It's five back with leader. Uh, a rampage. Rampage. Two dice versus units. In adjacent. So you want to roll two dice for my elephant? Sure. Awesome. So here's against your elephant. Uh, they rampage. <laughs> they rampage. So we'll table that yeah, for we'll now. Table that. And I'll roll two dice against Valerian. And they run back. Okay. And then... Uh, so now, two more dice against the other elephant. Yes. Here's this. So, yeah. So they're, they've retreated. That's right. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. And now this one is retreated. Right. Oh, that would have been sweet. If they were blocked in. That would have... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. If we got that wrong, let us know in the comments. All right. Valerian is very, very lucky. Every infantry card known to man. Heck. All right. I'll do my own mounted charge now. Uh-oh. Two. Oh, 
Okay. Let's do this one first. Good. Well done. First strike. Three dice. Oh. <laughs> The dice gods hate you this evening. They smirk. And... They sure do. They are, they are not in my favor. Okay. All, right. All right. It's four dice. That'll do. Oh, it would have been five dice, of course. I neglected, but it does not matter. This one, now, I will take the five dice. Uh, five dice on these. Uh, we just send them away. Alright, uh, we'll do medium cav against medium cav with four dice. Okay. And we score a hit. Three dice back. Oh, Ooh! Coming down to the wire, folks! Alright. We got five dice on this medium. What are they going to do? They're going to evade. We'll evade that. Yes. Alright. Five dice looking for triangles only. Oh. Dice gods have forsaken me as well. All okay. right. So draw a card from my first strike. I will draw my card and send it back. Finally, to something I can use. Ah. Six. Going against those Praetorians first with the elephant with five dice. That has a lot of there, swords. There you go, sir. Well done. Ah. So, so is that tie? We both got six four. Hey, we're showing you the scores right now. What an incredible series tonight! It was six four, six four. I think. Look at this. Look at this hand of of infantry cards. <laughs> I do not want to hear about it because I had four cards and at on two of my turns I had four left section cards. You wondered why I was just doing what I was doing with the cavalry up there. I was like, I just got to get rid of some of these left cards. I just got to do something. And I was sitting there waiting for something in the center and then I finally got... Uh, and then you brought the elephants to me, so I, I was fortunate to survive on that one. But I really like this scenario. It's... It's a lot closer than it seems, just because obviously I had some great fortune with the di with your dice misfortune today. I survived probably at least three or four combats, close combats that I should not have survived. I still felt like I was in this right to the end. All I needed was one more turn, and I was I was coming after, you know, an elephant or something because I had my own double time, and I was gonna I was gonna force right mm. up right up the center, I think. So, uh, what do you think about this one? It's interesting. We, we often complain that the elephants feel like they're ineffective because how they're arrayed on the field, but this time they are straight across from heavy units, so they get to roll five dice, and that's what makes them so devastating. Now, granted, it's five dice back, but with the elephants and their exploding swords, you've got a better chance, I think, of, of wiping out a heavy unit as opposed to getting retaliated against, but... Yeah, this was this was a fun little fight. The wrinkle of this one with the fright with Valerian that saved his bacon because you scored yeah. a retreat on me and I was able to get away. So I I like that. I think that's a, an interesting miti mitigating mechanic for this one. But uh, yeah, for the first time, the Romans encountering the Persians with the strange pachyderms. I thought this was a great one um, on both sides. It, it doesn't. It, it's a little just a tad skewed towards the Persian just because of those cannons there with the the elephants but uh, I, I enjoyed it nonetheless it was it was a fun series and looking at the time on this one I mean uh, raw we're approaching an hour but uh, when I cut this down it's probably gonna play a lot faster than that maybe 30 35 minutes so this is one I could definitely recommend for those of you out there and uh, I think John Rogers 
He, you know, he gave me the, Psst, there's elephants in the next one. So thank you for getting my hopes up on that one. It, it was everything I hoped it would be. And uh, if this is a sign of the last few scenarios, as we round out the end of this, this box set, then I'm, I'm looking forward to all of them. Well, next week looks like it's going to be a pretty interesting one too. Well, good. Baggage I... trains return. Oh no. <laughs> it's such a liability. Here, let's haul these millstones around. Here, put them around your neck because uh, baggage trains. Or wagon logger. Oh boy, wagon logger. Mm. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this tonight. Once again, this was a very spirited evening of uh, chasing flanks and pachyderm mayhem. So come on back next week. Tell your friends about it. We hope you've enjoyed this. And if this is your first time ever stumbling upon the channel, take a look at some of the other curated playlists. I've got three or four different systems that I have been recording with all of my buddies. So uh, stick around, and I'm sure you'll find something that you like. I'm showing you our current supporters right now. And the best way you can support the channel is just by clicking the like and subscribe button if you've not done that. So do so, and click that notification bell because it will tell you when these drop. And for the most part, Commands and Colors is a Saturday morning breakfast treat. And I try to get them out there at 9 a.m. on Saturdays. Otherwise, Peter, have a great week, sir, and I will see you next week. Good night. Good night.